Ladies and gentlemen, this is Original Seed. Welcome to another episode. And today we're going to be talking about Nintendo 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you what I enjoyed from their Nintendo Direct. Today's Nintendo Direct had four big announcements. And I want to start off with the one that was most exciting to me, at least most interesting. And that is Mario Kart Home Circuit, an augmented reality Mario Kart. Now, at first, I didn't know how it was gonna work. But then I see that you start putting down these cardboard markers, four of them around your house to create a track. And essentially, your home is the track. If you want to change the augmented reality of the game, just put your cardboard tracks in a different location. Now, the thing that's interesting to me was that you also race actual RC cars. So you buy these RC cars, you put them on the track, and while you're racing with your Nintendo Switch, you're also racing in real life. Now, that can be very interesting. If the RC car happens to break later on, if you can still play the game and augment to reality without actually having the RC car move throughout your house, that's still cool. But having it do both? Pfft. Wow! Nintendo is on one. Now, this game is not going to be cheap. It's not going to be the standard price because after all, it comes with RC cars. So, this game is going to cost you $100. And you won't have to wait too long to play it because it'll be launching in October 16th of this year. Now, the next big announcement, at least to me, was Mario Bros. All-Stars, which includes an HD remake of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. Mario 64 was the first game that jumped between 2D to 3D, and it was a smash success. Pretty much single-handedly made sure that Nintendo 64 launched strong. And then we go to Mario Sunshine, a game that's either a hit or miss with the fans, mostly because they kind of strayed from the Mario formula and tried something new. I don't think I passed it myself, so if I do end up getting this pack, I'm definitely going to jump into this game. Now, Mario Galaxy is a game that pretty much propelled Mario to the next step, regarded as probably the best Mario ever made. So, having these three games in one single pack is pretty awesome, and you won't have to wait too long either. Super Mario 3D All-Stars will be launching September 18th of this year. Now, the third biggest announcement, at least to me, was Mario Brothers. 35, which is a battle royale game like that Tetris battle royale game where you're trying to complete different levels and you're sending foes and villains to other people's screens. So if you smash a Troopa Koopa on your screen, then it sends it to someone else's screen and adds more chaos onto them. But the same thing can happen to you, where a bunch of other animals and enemies come into your screen, trying to kill you off. And the whole point of the game is to be the last one standing out of 35 people. Super Mario Bros. 35 is free for online Nintendo subscribers, but will only be playable for a limited amount of time. Starting on October 1st, you'll be able to download the game and you'll be able to play it to the end of March, which is pretty cool and I'm hoping that eventually it becomes a free download or something that we can just download as a game or buy it for relatively cheap. But at least we get it for free and we get to try it out. It seems like a lot of fun to me. I haven't tried the Tetris, but I kind of like the idea where I'm only in my own screen and other things are affecting it, but I can affect other people's screens too. Nothing too big, but a nice touch. We'll see how Nintendo does it. And I really appreciate this unique spin on the Battle Royale games. And the last big announcement was Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Switch. And the reason why is because that game came out on the Wii U, a console that many people didn't buy. 
You may not know this about me, but I'm also a huge Nintendo fan. And I've owned every major console that they've released except for the Wii U, which I'm sure a lot of people also skipped. So having the opportunity to play Super Mario 3D World on my Nintendo Switch is pretty awesome because it was a game that I missed. But it also seems to include extra levels or DLC called Bowser's Fury, which Nintendo says will elaborate more when the time comes. Those were the biggest announcements from Super Mario's 35th anniversary from Nintendo. I'm excited about them. I can't wait to get my hands on them. And the good thing is, we won't have to wait long. They should be dropping pretty much from now on to the months come. And I love that Nintendo does that. When their games are pretty much ready to go, that's when they start hyping them up. They don't let you know about four or five years in advance. Yeah, we might get rumors here and there, but at least with Nintendo, we know that when they announce a game, it should be coming out soon. So let me know what you thought about these games. Did I miss something that you were excited about? Maybe I didn't hear it, you know, because I was busy doing whatever I do. Or, eh, is it a pass for you because you already played those games? Me, being a Nintendo fan, I'm actually gonna get a few of these. So let me know what you think in the comments. Now that's gonna do it for this episode. Remember, when she's the fan, run. I'm really excited to get Mario Kart Home Circuit and see what my cats do. See them on screen attacking my car. Man, that's gonna be fun.